Good morning, everybody. You're all very welcome along to the Infomar webinar series. First one of which is looking at Infomar's support for the developing offshore renewable energy sector in Ireland. Infomar is Ireland's national seabed mapping program. It stands for Integrated Mapping for the Sustainable Development of Ireland's Marine Resource. It's a partnership between the Marine Institute and Geological Survey Ireland and is funded through the Department of the Environment, Climate and Communications. Overall, it represents an 80 million euro investment across its lifespan. And when it was examined by PricewaterhouseCooper a number of years back, um, an estimated cost benefit ratio of four to six times return on investments was uh, determined through that process. Of course, engaging with the offshore renewable energy sector is key to realizing this um, cost benefit over the course of the project's life. Uh, the project runs across two phases. Phase one ran from 2006 to 2016, uh, was complete successfully, and phase two runs from 2016 through to the end of 2026. Quick breakdown of my uh, presentation today. I'll be taking a look at Infomar and the Climate Action Challenge. Infomar is a support for the offshore renewable energy sector in Ireland. The value of this information and why we feel it's really important that uh, this is established and understood. Uh, a program review um, that was carried out externally to really take a deep look at where Infomar addresses the ORE sector's information and data requirements. And finally, in the outcome of this process and some next steps. The Climate Action Bill of 2019 set out some very ambitious targets for offshore wind in Ireland specifically uh, 3.5 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. Action 26 of the plan, which is support the ocean energy research development and demonstration pathway for emerging marine technologies, that's wave, tidal, floating wind, and associated test infrastructure, calls for the completion of the mapping of all Irish offshore waters through the Informar pro program to support site selection for offshore energy. Program for Government of 2020 further revised these targets upwards to five gigawatts of energy installed by 2030 for offshore wind. In response to the Climate Action Plan, we were asked to look at how Infomar supports the sector currently and into the future. A useful reference for this study was the Crown Estates Guide to an Offshore Wind Farm, which gave some indicative costs associated with the various development phases and activities. For example, resource and med ocean studies, engineering and consultancy, and some of the activities that will be tied to them, such as front end engineering design studies. We also looked at where the uh, Infomar program uh, could directly support these uh, activities through its uh, current information and data outputs. So while this um, study was a valuable uh, use of resources and um, a useful exercise, it was clear at the end of us that what was really required was to get an external review to really determine and understand the information requirements of the sector so that uh, these could be capitalized upon over the next uh, couple of years of the Infomar program. So the Infomar project management um, put together a committee which set out the needs for this consultation, specifically the ORE industry data requirements in the context of Infomar program outputs the available knowledge and data resources in Ireland, not just Infomar, the potential benefits of increased program engagement with industry, the present knowledge and data gaps which can be addressed, and recommendations for enhancing Infomar support for offshore renewable energy in Ireland. So we felt that understanding the value of the information is key to ensuring that we can leverage maximum value from the 80 million euro investment that's been made in the Infomar program over its lifetime. There's of course an opportunity to reduce costs and lead times for developing ORE in Ireland if the data is properly used and engaged with and um, utilized in the various related activities. There's an opportunity to reduce the risk of lost projects due to insufficient ground modeling data and finally, an opportunity to optimize future data acquisition campaigns and program outputs. So that's the ORE sector is catered for, as well as 
various other sectors that are already making extensive use of the Informar data resource. So with that in mind, an RFQ process was undertaken and two excellent proposals were received from Illmatic Energy and GDG, which on evaluation we determined would be very useful taken together to provide a balanced industry perspective on the Informar program and the likely data requirements of the ORE sector into the future. So these uh, reports are now going to be made available for, for the public to access on our website. And they're going to form key references for the program management now and into the future as we determine our strategy towards the end of the program. Uh, we also feel that the reports will serve as a very useful data brochure for the ORE sector, in particular, um, players that may not be familiar with the program and its data outputs. And finally, we feel that these um, reviews or reports will be very useful for engaging our stakeholders in the ORE sector because they offer a very useful glimpse of the ORE landscape in Ireland as it currently stands and a useful baseline to uh, refer back to as this uh, industry takes off in Ireland. So the outcome of this process is that both reports will be available online and we encourage you to uh, check them out, review uh, the reports and please give us your feedback. Uh, the first in a new Informar webinar series. So this presents us with an opportunity to engage with our stakeholders in the ORE sector, but we are hoping to uh, use this format to engage our stakeholders in other sectors across the spectrum. Finally, the launch of a new Informar sub-bottom data viewer and download service. This is a very exciting development which occurred in parallel to the review process where our data management team um, has rapidly developed an open data viewer and QC service, which will let ORE stakeholders or anyone interested in the sub-bottom data asset to uh, access this data, review it online, and then download it. So you'll be hearing a little bit more about that later. And finally, uh, we'd like to take the opportunity to really com commence a dialogue on the Informar program and the ORE sector and where there's opportunity for mutually beneficial engagements. Thanks very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoy this webinar and the talks that are about to follow. Uh, please keep in touch, follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions in relation to any of the content of this webinar, please feel free to get in contact with us, via either informar at informar.ie or email me directly using the email address at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Thanks very much and enjoy the webinar.